Hi, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this article, Barr significantly expands coup investigation, Obama CIA panics, and lawyers up. Attorney General Bill Barr just dropped a bomb on the deep state saboteurs who are under investigation for allegedly plotting a soft coup attempt against President Donald Trump. Barr has given John Durham, the U.S. prosecutor from Connecticut, the go-ahead to significantly expand his ongoing investigation. But that's not all. Barr had one more bomb to drop on Barack Obama and his former CIA officials who panicked and lawyered up. You'll love this. AG Bill Barr has Obama's deep state rats scurrying after he approved John Durham's request to significantly expand his ongoing investigation into the FBI's Crossfire Hurricane investigation, otherwise known as the insurance policy by former FBI agent Peter Strzok. While the Democrats engulfed the news cycle with their bogus impeachment inquiry, Barr and Durham have been quietly plodding along. This is the second time Barr has authorized Durham to expand his investigation. However, this is the first time the Department of Justice could not deny this has become a criminal investigation. Although the probe did not begin as a criminal investigation, Justice Department officials won't comment on whether it has morphed into one, NBC reports. This most likely means it has morphed into a criminal investigation. Barr's DOJ spokesman previously denied this started as a criminal investigation. If Durham had not found any crimes, Barr would have instructed him to wrap it up, not significantly expand the investigation twice. The prosecutor conducting the review, Connecticut U.S. Attorney John Durham, has expressed his intent to interview a number of current and former intelligence officials involved in examining Russia's effort to interfere in the 2016 presidential election, including former CIA Director John Brennan and former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, Brennan told NBC News. The one man who is panicking and burning up his cell phone with calls to his legal team is former CIA director John Brennan. We know Brennan has become the focus of the investigation after it was leaked that Durham's team is in possession of the cell phone records of Joseph Mifsud, one of the operatives at the very heart of this matter. Brennan has claimed, along with disgraced former FBI director James Comey, that Mifsud was a Russian agent who started a business relationship with Trump campaign aide George Papadopoulos. They also have testified that it was Mifsud who told Papadopoulos he had dirt on Hillary Clinton. Brennan claims Crossfire Hurricane, the counter-intel investigation to spy on Trump, was launched due to Papadopoulos and Mifsud. In April 2016, Mifsud told Trump campaign advisor George Papadopoulos in London that he had heard in Moscow that the Russians owned dirt on candidate Clinton in the form of thousands of emails. When word got back to the FBI via an Australian diplomat, agent Peter Strzok officially opened the probe known as Crossfire Hurricane, Washington Times reports. Special counsel Robert Mueller's report cast Mr. Mifsud as a London-based academic who frequently talks to sinister Russians. Former FBI director James Comey calls the balding, rumpled European a Moscow asset. This entire investigation by Durham all comes down to one thing. Why was Crossfire Hurricane started? Did the FBI and CIA legally spy on Trump based on credible intelligence? Or was the basis for Crossfire Hurricane completely bogus? Brennan and Comey have testified they began Crossfire Hurricane after Mifsud as a Russian agent offered the dirt on Hillary Clinton to Papadopoulos.